Hello my friends and welcome to another video from PC Toys. Today we are going to review, Sectors. This amazing toy line, cartoons and comics franchise it is awesome. Join me, and together we all I'll discover the amazing world of Symbian. Sectors, Warriors of Symbian was a line of action figures released by Coleco in 1985. Sectors was created by Lawrence Mask, Tim Clark and Maureen Proto, and licensed by Seven Towns. The premise was that somewhere in space, somewhere in time, exists a planet called Symbian, where a genetic experiment fails. Frightening changes take place that cannot be stopped. The result? A world where insects and arachnids grow to frightening proportions. A world where the inhabitants have taken on the awesome characteristics of insects and arachnids. Prince Dargon, ruler of the peaceful shining realm of Prosperon, and his allies are in conflict with the forces of Empress Devra, ruler of the dark domain of Synax, and her henchmen. For possession of the heaps, fortresses of an ancient civilization holding the key to ultimate power. Each character was telebonded with intelligent, non-anthropomorphic insect creatures called insectoids that had a special ability, and shared each other's pleasure and pain. An animated miniseries that spanned five episodes was created based on the characters, and Marvel Comics published an eight-issue limited series about them as well. A read-along record storybook was also made. Now let's explore the heroic characters of this amazing line of toys. The first one is, Dargon. He is the prince of the Shining Realm. He is bonded with a flying steed called Dragonflyer, which has a biting action. His weapons included a broad skull sword, shield, twin van guns, and a slazur. An alternate figure was also released called Night Fighting Dargon, which had silver armor and antennae which glowed in the dark. Night Fighting Dargon included a skull dagger, a van gun, and trinoculars with lenses that glowed in the dark. The weapons were kept in ankles heads, rather than the standard belt holsters, enabling all of Dargon's weapons to be worn by one figure. Another insectoid companion, Parafli, was sold with night fighting Dargon as well, an action bug that attached to his back and featured flapping wings and a tail that glowed in the dark. Night Fighting Dargon was the only figure actually released from the planned second wave of toys shown in catalogs. We also have, Pinzer. He is a veteran warrior who rides the massive Battle Beetle, a steed with two heavy front arms that close with a pincering action. Pinzer's weapons included a skull battle axe, sword, shield, and oven gun. This one is, Zack. He is captain of Prosperon's Royal Guard until his wise-cracking insolence got him replaced. His companion, Bator, was an action bug with a biting action. Zack's weapons included a slazor, a run gun, and a skull shield. I love this character name, Manter. He is the keeper of the way, a scholar of the ancient powers contained in the heaves and the ancients who created them. His companion beast is Rapor an action bug with a grappling line that extends from its mouth and a winch action to rewind the cable. Mantra's weapons included a crossbow, and gun, and skull shield. Said to be an expert of the native Sectorian martial art of Kai. And now, Stellar the female warrior. The unreleased Stellar figure from the planned second series of the toy line resembled her animated incarnation, and was to have included Rhinox as her partner an action bug with a headbutt feature. Her weapons were a skull dagger, shield, and a van gun. We also have the V-Lanes, the evil sectors of the Dark Domain. Their leader is, General Speedrax. He is the hideous leader of the Dark Domain's armies, armed with a whip coated in lethal poison. Unlike most sectors, he enslaved his animal companion, Spider Fire, rather than form a bond with it. Speedrax's weapons included a Venom Whip, Slazor, Skull Shield, Net, and Twinven Guns. Spider Flyer was a flying steed with biting mandibles. Like Dargon, the second wave of toys was to have featured a night fighting Speedrax, which included a staff weapon, boomerang, and attachable armor which glowed in the dark. 
Night Fighting Speedrex would have been paired with an action bug named Strangle Bug, which was a spider with unusually long bendable legs that could be wrapped around a figure. Unlike Night Fighting Dargon, however, Night Fighting Speedrex went unreleased with the rest of the second series. I hate Skulk. He rides the spider like Tranquilla, an extremely furry steed with biting mandibles. His weapons included a skull dagger, shield, and gun, and Darkwing. We also have, Commander Waspax. He is Speedrex's rival. His insectoid companion is Winged, an action bug with flapping wings. His weapons included a skull saber, shield, and gun. But do not forget, Skeeto, the mercenary of the group. His companion, Toxid, is an action bug that squirts water from his proboscis, said to be poison in the context of the stories. His weapons included a skull sword, shield, and gun. This line of toys, comics and cartoons have many characters, but the most important of all is The Heave. The Heave Playzette was also produced, and is one of the larger playsets released in the 1980s. Accessories included a boulder-like wrecking ball, a heavy scalibur turret gun, a ladder, and a cage. It featured a landing pad with a trap door, a collapsible bridge, and an interior detailing a biocontrol laboratory. The Heave came with two mutant insectoids as guardians. A glove puppet, and a smaller finger puppet. Each had a cave from which they could ambush figures during play. Well my friends I hope you like this review of Sectors. I love this toys and cartoons. They are awesome. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from me again, please be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go. Thank you for watching and I will see you in our next video.